Driving to the bicycle taxi to the Estadio to check out if I can get to Guadalajara. Let's see. I want to drive there by public transport. So that's why I need to go to the Estadio first. Cruising becomes another meaning when you're in that little bicycle. It's very funny and you see a lot of dirt. Look at this nice... It's a school, a escuela. Sí. Sí, sí. It's very slow, you can see it here how are we I think we are driving like 10 kilometers per hour but it's nice. I could walk faster but it's more comfortable this way. See that motorbike is much much quicker but also it's more dangerous. Eh, 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 es peligroso de, de, de areal? No, no peligroso. No. no. Holguín eh, es peligroso? No, de noche, de noche. Noche, ok. La noche, la noche. noche. Sí, día, okay. día, no. Eh, no, noche. ok, ok. ¿Por turista o por todo holguinera? Por todo, por todo. <laughs> ok. <laughs> And we listen to Compay Segundo. <laughs> Está bonito, está bonito. Sí, sí. En Holguín, en uh, Oriente del Aquí. Cuba. And also you have a lot of beautiful buildings here. You see beautiful casas. Now you have to wait. Look, left. Look at this street. It's very It's destroyed. Nobody can drive here. It's very bumpy. It's an interesting feeling. It's my first time in uh, transportation like this. But it's interesting to see it and it's, uh, I think this is like a, a real neighborhood where people live, no tourists. Solo holguineras in this area, no turista. It's the slow way of life. <laughs> Eterno sederista rebelde, Pidel. La unidad del barrio. See that? It's beautiful. The street, we are going to the Estadio Calista with our motorcycle, with our bi bicycle driver. Here is the Estadio, you can see it from here. And you see people waiting here for getting to different places so here is the Estadio Galista See, sí. baseball baseball de Holguín yeah and tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning I will try to get to the Guadalajara beach by pa paying the Cuban price only 500 Cuban peso for a one hour ride. Let's see if it is possible. If it is possible, I would save a lot of money and it will be great. <laughs> and Adalberto, my mm. friend here, will take me there. Mm. Olguin is all about verandas and terraces. You see it here. A lot of terraces, a lot of... Also, mucho pero. Like, for example, this friend. <laughs> Yeah.
It's a very suave, tranquilo city. Not so much is going on in this town. It's a bit boring, to be honest. It's not comparable with Santiago. Santiago was very energetic, very vibrant. People was talking to you all the time. Here it is not like that. But yeah, it's a different kind of way here. It's very, very tranquilo. In Olguin. Here you see another peril. Sleeping in the ground. Yeah. That's Olguin. In uh, Oriente de Cuba. And here you see Pero numero tres. <laughs> They are very hungry. Before I saw a dog which had like, was very, very, very skinny and was looking for food. And here you see un grande perro. Un grande peligroso. <laughs> perro peligroso. Yeah. See this dog over here. Another day, another dollar. I'm in the bicycle taxi again. And we are going to the uh, Estadio Garcia to take a small bus or a big bus to Guadalavaca like Cubans do and uh, today it's rainy you can see that I'm wearing for the first time in Cuba uh, a jacket because it's, it's, it's quite cold today it rained and we are on our way let me show you how the street looks like in Cuba when it's raining. Como se llama? Alessi. Alessi is driving me <laughs> to the <laughs> estadio to take the bus to Guadalavaca. And you can see the streets of Olguin right here. I made it. I'm at the bus who drives me to Guardalavaca. It's a Cuban bus, so you can see it's very um, different to the tourist buses. You can see the seats and everything. And uh, here are the prices. It's quite cheap. It's only 120. And here you can see the interior of the bus. It's very, very little, but it's beautiful. Let's try it out. I'm going to Guadalavaca. For a very cheap price the taxis are very expensive for tourists they charge 200 uh, they charge um, 20 20 euros for one way even sometimes more 27 so this is a very good price and i'm a bit tired because i woke up very early in the morning but let's see how the drive will be and also how long it will take to get to that beautiful Guadalavaca beach. So I've arrived at Guadalavaca beach. The ride was quite okay. It was a uh, very Cuban. It was a uh, old car from the 1950s and people were um, very close to each other. You didn't have much space and uh, the road was bumpy and it took me about an hour, but it was very cheap. I only paid four euros, one mil, un mil peso cubano. And now look where I'm at. Beautiful white sand, blue water. Today the sky is cloudy, so the water is not that blue. And it rained earlier, but maybe it will get better the next days but right now it is very beautiful let me go a bit towards the water see this wonderful coastline of Olguin it's very very nice and lovely
That's the Narka River. Also interesting to know is that Cuba has 700 beaches. Most of them are still undiscovered. But this one is one of the most favorite and most famous uh, beaches within Cuba, but also for international tourists, the Playa Guardalavaca. You have the Playa of Faradero, of course, and we have, uh, you have also Cayo Coco and other places. So this is, I would say, the top three of Cuba. It's a very touristy place, but uh, at this time in uh, December, it, it, there are not so many people here. But it's a very nice place to see. So I decided to come here and check out this place. Look at this beautiful tree, by the way. So this is the tree, beautiful tree. My jacket is over there. I'm waiting to check in. Uh, it's at 2 p.m. and uh, I arrived early, so I need to wait a couple of hours. But yeah, that's the place.